Hello, uh, this is going to be a uh, video about how to groom the wire-haired dachshund Nick. Uh, this is Abby, she's one of our showgirls, but she's about semi-retired. She just had puppies last year, and she's currently in a false heat and has some milk, so that's what you're seeing right here. Uh, you need a good table, good sturdy table, with an arm and a noose. I put her on the noose. Then what I do is I like to take my comb and comb out her mustache. And she has not been groomed, oh gosh, I don't know, a couple of months. So she's a bit shaggy. I comb out her mustache. I have my rubber fingers on, you'll see. Uh, this is a medium and this is a large. And uh, they will stretch out. This one's a little tight when you first put it on. It might make your finger feel like it's going numb, but it will stretch out. I take her and I look at her because you don't want to pull any closer. You keep the beard going from the inside corner of the eye down to the corner of the mouth. So you don't pull anything in front of that for now. And the same way underneath. I go to the corner of the mouth, but not any farther. Uh, so I take my knife and I just start stripping down. I try to pull the skin up as I'm stripping. That way it makes the skin taut and it's easier to get um, the hair. I hold her neck up. Now what you want to do is you want to go up to the corner of her mouth and just start pulling the hair. Some of the hair will be kind of cottony under here because it, it never seems to get that coarse. And like I say, I grab them by the snoot, by the muzzle, and I pull up, so I pull the skin tight. And as you can see, I'm regularly getting hair off of her. Now, the thing about this is, you've got a breastbone right here, and you don't wanna pull from about an inch above her prosternum. You want to leave this so you have a nice, pretty furnishing on her on her uh, front. So only go to about an inch above or two inches above. So pulling, I pull, pull, pull. I always pull in the direction that the hair grows. keep a bag hanging on my table. Uh, some people think I'm kind of a neat freak, but I like to keep as much mess down as I can. And of course, she's used to this, so until your baby gets used to it, uh, they'll have to learn, take a break every now and then, and let them have a minute to relax and recruit. Give them a treat, let them know they're being a very good girl. Yeah, Abby's being a very good girl. Very good girl. This will also pull out any of those long, hard whiskers. Abby would like to be retired completely, but we can't allow that yet. She's still t got to uh, earn her American Grand Championship. Now, when you start getting down here around the noose, feel free to pull it up and hold it with your thumb and just keep pulling. And what you want to do, I every now and then just run my hand backwards over the hair and that way anything that's sticking up I try to go back and get. Doesn't hurt them at all. Uh, wire hair dachshunds, their hair follicles grow shallow. And so the hair is ready to come out. In fact, you'll notice that a lot of times it just kind of falls out because it's dead hair. But as you can see, we're already starting to make some progress here. And the reason I pull up, good girl, Abby. The reason I pull up too is it tightens that skin so you're not as likely to nick them with your knife. Now, you've got this line that runs on both sides of the neck. You can also strip that out fairly easily. 
Go with the growth of the hair. You kind of learn how to hold all this when it comes with practice. On this side of the line, you pull this way because that's the way the hair grows. And then on the back side of the line, you would pull this way. And that whole big area will tighten down and actually disappear till you have a pretty line. Now, as you can see, we're starting to give her a pretty neck. Now the neck is more than just what's underneath her chin. You want to make sure when you're looking at her that, and I pull this kind of forward, the way you want the beard to grow. Hey, hey, hey little girl. Yeah. Because you want it nice and tight and pretty when you're looking at her from the side. I take a lot of peeks. I stop and review my work, and it gives them a little break too. So when I'm looking at her, I'm looking to see how clean does that look. That was looking pretty good. Now, what you want? What you want, Abigail? What you want, Abigail? Want some lovings? <laughs> okay. Remember when you're going down this line, that this line goes all the way back to here. So don't be afraid to pull. You want that line to come off. You don't want a great big long area of hair sticking out. Now, what you doing? <laughs> lovings. Okay. You're lovings. So you can see we're starting to get a nice pretty look. And if you see, I run my hand back. And I, I know I need to take a little more off. I want it just as tight as I can get it under there. And I'm only going to go That's a lot of hair coming off your neck. That's a lot of hair coming off your neck. She's not used to being a movie star, so please excuse her. I think she realizes her daddy's standing there by taking a video of this. And she's saying, I think I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Right? So I hope that helps you just take your and pull down to about right here. Don't be afraid to pull on each side of that line. That's part of her neck actually, but it's the side of her neck, not under her chin. For goodness sakes, don't use scissors and don't use uh, clippers. It needs to be stripped, okay? And once you get it stripped down, it's pretty easy to keep. So, are you seeing what I've done here? It's starting to look pretty nice right here on her chin and under her neck. I'll finish it up and come back and show you the finished product.